Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. So I have a fun video for you guys today. We are doing a chatty get ready with me. I am doing this very colorful look with my palette. So this is my collaboration palette with Odin's Eye. It's the Hummingbird palette. She is beautiful and colorful and bold, but at the same time, you can get some pretty simple looks from this palette. But today, obviously, that's not what I'm doing. I'm going all out because I haven't played in makeup and I haven't applied eyeshadow in quite a while. I know the videos have kind of been sporadic because I have been so, so busy, but I wanted to film this Get Ready With Me video, catch up with you guys, tell you what's going on, and just do a look with my palette. Play with my palette, right? It is almost sold out, so if you wanted to get your hands on it, now is the time, because come January, that's kaput. It's no longer gonna be available. They're not restocking. It's a limited edition palette, and that's it. So, if you wanna catch up with me and see how I got this look, then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. Alright guys, so as usual, I'm starting off with a clean, freshly washed face. I didn't even go in with moisturizer. Am I going to prop? Mm, should I? I don't feel like, I feel like my skin is fine right now. I don't need moisturizer. But I did fill in my brows and I applied my primer, which is my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in shade 2 and 3 mix to give me this light wash on the lids. And as I mentioned in the introduction, we're using my baby because why not, right? So if you wanted to get this palette and you didn't pick it up just yet, go ahead and grab it before it's no longer available. And hopefully some of you guys were able to take advantage of the Black Friday sale and pick it up at a discounted rate. There will be a holiday sale on Odin's Eye, but it will be a free gift with purchase. So you won't be able to get another discount on this. I am sorry. So grab it now while you can. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for the support. You guys have been tagging me in looks and swatches and I'm just stunned, okay? You guys are coming up with looks that I didn't even conceive of. I'm like, oh my God, you guys are killing it. It's beautiful on all skin tones. And I'm just like, oh, my god you know the one thing that i'm surprised by each time is the shade lagoon like it looks really deep in the pan but when i see it on lighter skin tones it's this really beautiful sky blue it blends out right so you can build it up to get depth but as you fade it out it becomes lighter and lighter and lighter and i just love seeing how bold and bright it can get it's stunning so today we're gonna play around do something i don't know something creative something a little bit different a little interesting let's start out with my baby hibiscus hair which is the bright red now i know some people say they're scared of red they don't know what to do with red the thing about this red is it's really bold and pigmented. It's meant to look this bold and pigmented on deeper, richer skin tones. When I was coming up with the shades in this palette, that was my first concern, to make sure that the colors that I'm creating are gonna be bold and poppy on richer skin tones. Because a lot of palettes that have bold, colorful shades, sometimes they look a little bit duller on deeper skin tones or they don't really build up. So I really wanted to have that pigmentation there. Oh, I'm using a soft definer brush from Sonia G just to create kind of a curved shape on this inner crease line and I'm blending it out. So you see a little bit goes a long way. I'm using this brush to define the line and then I will go in with a fluffier brush to blend it out. So yeah, I wanted these colors to definitely be able to show up richly on darker skin tones and then for lighter skin tones, you guys can just go in with a lighter hand. So for me, more pigmented shades, yeah, sometimes they can be a little bit intense and a little bit overwhelming, but these blend out so beautifully. And this red kind of blends out to a, well, it still retains the red. Like you can see, it doesn't really fade into a pink, but it will still blur and blend out so you just have to use circular motions. I have on a really sticky primer right now, so it's definitely gonna pick up a little bit more intensely, but you just have to use buffing circular motions to get that color to really blur out. So you see it fades and blends out. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more on this fluffier brush. This is from Eddie Funkhauser. It is his small blending brush. He redesigned these. They have different bristles now. They don't have natural bristles. These are all synthetic. They are very soft, thankfully, because they aren't the natural fiber that can be scratchy. 
and they blend like look at that it blends so easily it's so beautiful so I got the defined line and now I'm blending it out but yeah the support has been so amazing and I didn't expect it like honestly when they reached out to me they told me how many units they were gonna produce and I'm like I don't know if that's gonna sell out like they made a lot of stock and I was like oh my god even Annette and I were talking and we were like do you think we're gonna be able to sell out like it's a lot that's a lot of pressure especially being my first collaboration it's not Annette's first collaboration so she had a better idea of like what sales would be based on her last collab so she knew what to expect but I was like this is my first collab I don't know that it's really gonna sell out but it really ooh, I love the I love this red so much now I'm gonna grab the shade red hills guys out of nowhere my head just started hurting I don't even know what's going on I didn't wear a ponytail for that exact reason <laughs> like I didn't want a headache but my head is still hurting anyway <sighs> Anyway, picking up Red Hills, which is a deeper, dark, like, warm brown, like a red-based brown. It's a beautiful shade for deepening up this red, and you can use it also as, like, a neutral shade because it has that brownie base to it. Using the same brush that we used before, the Sonia G, and we're using that to deepen up the red. So you see, it complements the red, but it adds some depth to it. You can also use the dark purple, which is Star Apple. I needed that shade in this palette as my deepening shade. I didn't want to use a black. I was like, all right, we need a rich purple. Even though purples aren't my favorite colors, they look so beautiful that I ended up including two. And when I reached out to Robert Welsh, I was laughing because like, I couldn't tell him what was included. But I was like, don't worry, there's going to be a purple for you. And I knew he was going to use the purple. But in his look that he did on his channel, he actually ended up using Feathers, the green, which everybody's loving. Like, that's one of the favorite shades of the palette. So everybody loves Fancy. Like, I knew Fancy was going to be a good color because it's the multi-chrome. It's so pretty. But a few people also mentioned Beat Sands which is the neutral shade in the palette, which is the one that I wanted to include in the palette that can be used with any of these shades, right? This can be your neutral, and then you can use the other shades as accent shades. And Amy Loves Makeup says this is her favorite shade, and I'm like, yes, Amy, you know! Oh my God, so I love Beat Sands because it's such a beautiful tan. You can use it as a one and done shade, and it works so well on the lids. And then people really love feathers and star apples. So I am really loving the feedback. I think the only troublesome shade, and I'll mention this because it was the only shade that I have trouble with, is clear blue. So when I got the samples, right, you get them in circular pans, just single eyeshadow pans. So it's not in palette form. It's not pressed in production as yet. It's just the samples, right? Clear Blue was much softer, but because they put the embossing of the Hummingbird, it's a little bit stiffer, so you do have to go in with a scratchier brush or just really dig your brush into it to really pick up the pigmentation. So that's the only one that I'll say is definitely more troublesome. And then you'll have Fallout with Hummingbird, Swallowtail, and sometimes Blue Feels. So you use a stickier primer or just tap off your brush. They don't go all over the place, but they're sparklier shades, so they're a little bit looser. And the sparkles are pretty intense, which I was loving. And another comment that people made is that there are more shimmers in this palette than mattes. And I did that because the mattes complement all the other shades. The only thing, well, here's the thing. I wanted to add a deep brown and I wanted to add like a deep green, but I could not say no to the shimmers. And I know people love shimmers and shimmers can really sell a palette because people won't necessarily use the mattes all the time, colorful mattes, but they're definitely gonna pull in shimmers. So that's why they're more shimmers. Even though I'm a matte person, this cut crease, I haven't done eyeshadow in so long, guys, Ugh. and I am loving how this is looking. So what's going on with you guys? How was your holiday? How was Thanksgiving? So Thanksgiving for me is not the American Thanksgiving. I never grew up celebrating that. I grew up in Jamaica, so for me, Thanksgiving is just 
another day and for my family it's really just the day to get together because we're all off right so we use it as a family day of course we cook like the traditional Christmassy things and we make turkey for whoever wants turkey so this time around my cousin's boyfriend and my cousin they grew up here so they <laughs> they wanted turkey so we made turkey for them but everybody else was eating curry goat oxtail stewed chicken so my menu included stew chicken i made chicken steak which is just steak but it's a stew steak um i did the mac and cheese yes i did i did fried plantains mommy did the baked plantains i did candied yams which i do like they taste really good and then i did cranberry sauce to go with the turkey but i also like cranberry sauce with ham so i made cranberry sauce the adult version what else did I make? Oxtail and cornbread. I don't remember anything else. Did I make anything else? I don't think so. But yeah, I made that. And then we had, of course, rice and peas. My mom made ham and the turkey, like I said. My uncle made pepper shrimp. Oh, we love the pepper shrimp. It's so good. All right. Now I'm going to go in with a star apple. You know what? You know what? Hold on. This might be a complete crazy move, but I'm gonna go in with Lagoon. So here's our shade that can go deep to light. Let's try her out. I'm gonna start with the fluffier brush and I'm gonna apply her on the outer. See, on my skin, it's deeper. It's so interesting to see it on light skin. Like it really looks turquoise and neon. And I'm just like, how, how are you guys making it look so bright? Like. On me, it looks like a deep blue. And yeah, blue and blue and red will make a purple, so that should be fine. So, um, want me to say? So yeah, my uncle made pepper shrimp. His shrimp is so good, oh my God. But we spent Thanksgiving over my aunt's house. And honestly, I was gonna vlog a part of it because I've been vlogging. My vlog camera broke, first of all, and I had to send it in for repair. Thankfully, it was still on the warranty because I literally bought it in September. So it's like, why, what, what is going on? It was the display, the display just went berserk. So anyway, they fixed it, but I was going to vlog it, like cooking and stuff, but guess what happened? guess what happened i ended up with a whole bladder infection like i already seasoned everything and everything was prepped and ready to go but wednesday night it was really thursday morning like at 3 a.m i woke up and went to pee ha ah, if you ever had a uti or a bladder infection then you know exactly how that pee feels and i was like oh sh sugar bones right Oh, so that just set it off and I had to pretty much sleep in the bathroom. I was on the toilet because there's this urgency to pee. You feel like you always have to pee and there's this pressure and it's painful as well. So I'm in pain, I'm feeling icky and I'm just like, I hate everything now. But now it's Thanksgiving, it's Thursday, everything's closed. What, what am I doing? Like my, my doctor isn't open, right? So now I had to go to urgent care. Thankfully, there was an urgent care near to me that was open. That was one of the best things that came about is urgent care. They're expensive and I'm waiting for the bill because I know it's gonna come. I mean, my insurance will cover some of it, but I know the, the bill is gonna come. Anyway, the urgent care, you know, the, they did the urine test in office and the PA was saying like, the test came back with just um, slight bacterial levels. So she said it's either the very start or the very end of a UTI. And I'm like, it's the start, trust me. I've had UTIs, like chronic UTIs for the majority of my adult life and I hate everything and I wanna fight people. But once you've gotten a UTI once, it's like you're more prone to it. So I've had chronic UTIs and there's not, the, first of all, all right, shut your mouth. Cause I know people are going to be like, oh, you had sex. No, well, cause that's what my, my mom said. That was the first thing she's like, ooh, who you? I'm like, mommy, wasn't sex. I don't know what happened. Two things could have happened. I went to get my laser hair removal, right? That was one thing that I did. I did that on sat Saturday, Saturday before, or was it Monday? Was it Monday? It could no, it was Monday. I did my my laser hair removal, but the Thursday, the week before, I went and got my annual checkup with my OBGYN, and he did a Pap smear. So those were the only strange things that happened in my vaginal area around that time. Okay, 
and when I went to the OBGYN, I didn't pee right after, right? Which is what I try to do. If anything happens in the nether regions, I'm peeing like ASAP because I've learned, okay? So I didn't get to pee because I had to go grocery shopping. So it was a couple of hours before I actually ended up peeing and I feel like that was the start of it like that was the problem because with a uh, laser hair removal they're not in you know they're not in your whole area <laughs> like they're not really there like they're just on the hair you see how the blue looks deep on me you see it anyway so i'm just like it had to be the OBGYN, and i'm pissed off and fed up i mean he used gloves but i'm feeling like the instrument was dirty i'm feeling like it had to be because what else would have caused it anyway let's now go in with star apple so that happened i was gonna vlog some of like the cooking and stuff but after that i was just like forget it don't talk to me i don't want to do nothing like i'm literally just trying to make it through and my pharmacy was closed so i wasn't gonna get the prescription the doctor gave me a prescription for antibiotics and all that but the prescription, obviously my pharmacy is closed this Thanksgiving. Like what the hell am I gonna do? So she said, don't worry about it. I have the, the, the prescription here. I can give you two days worth of it. And then you can go ahead and fill the prescription tomorrow. So you don't have to worry. Cause I know you have stuff to do. Cause I was like, I have to go cook for Thanksgiving. I'm already off to a late start because it was 10 o'clock at this point. Right? I don't know. I was just, I don't know. I was just feeling all out of it. And I was trying to get some sleep. I finally got some sleep. I was sleeping on the bathroom floor with a blanket and a pillow. Cause I was so tired. And I'm like, I need to get some sleep because if I don't sleep, I'm going to be really cranky. Like if I'm hungry or tired, Tired, I am very cranky so I was like I need to get some sleep at least a couple of hours and I got some sleep made it there she gave me a couple of pills thankfully they eased the urgency to pee but they didn't ease the pain which sucked but that was fine as long as they eased the urgency I could get things done I but I was miserable like you know when you have an infection you feel just icky I don't know if anybody else feels it. You have to feel this way. It's not just me. But okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the crease a little bit. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the same mixture of my primer with a concealer brush. This is which one is this? The Anastasia Beverly Hills. Do they still make this brush? Anyway, so it eased the urgency didn't kill the pain like the pain was awful this is one of the worst infections i've gotten in a while like i was peeing blood and the works so with utis which can be bladder infections they can worsen to a kidney infection this time around thankfully it was a bladder infection it didn't really go to my kidneys but she was like listen if it gets worse if you start getting back pain because that's the sign of the kidney infection then she'd have to give me stronger pills so with the bladder infection you get the urgency to pee there it's very uncomfortable you can feel some pain and discomfort while peeing but you also pee blood and there's also a smell to it i know that sounds awful but you can tell that you have an infection and child i had all those symptoms and my last couple of UTIs, and I probably get, now I've gotten it under control, so I maybe get one a year. Thankfully, for the last couple of years, I've probably gotten two. So, I've been good. I've been peeing when I need to pee. So, one of my big things is holding my pee. So, I pee as frequently as I need to, but sometimes I don't get to pee. And if I drink coffee, that's another trigger for me. If I drink coffee and hold my pee, oh, forget about it. I am going to get a UTI. Uh, you see how pretty this is? I'm dying. So this was just really bad. And I was just, I was so uncomfortable. And I just felt icky because your body feels icky. And then the medication that she gave me, oh, I should have known to tell her that this was bad because I've gotten it before and it made me feel so icky. So she gave me two i don't know the exact medications but she gave me this one that turns your pee orange and she was like don't wear your favorite panties i'm like honey i'm gonna wear a panty liner which makes you think i'm gonna just go free ball it in my pant oh i just messed up now y'all making me talk but yeah i don't if i have a uti i wear a panty liner like i know what's gonna happen i'm gonna keep peeing and then i'm gonna smell like pee no so i wear a panty liner anyway but she said, no, don't wear your favorite panty because you're gonna, 
it's gonna turn your pee orange and it's gonna stain your underwear. So I'm like, all right. This thing really turned your pee or like orange so bad that it was staining the toilet. So I had to tell my aunt, I'm like, auntie, <laughs> I'm at her house because everybody now knows I have a, a UTI because it's family. We don't like, we're not like that. We, we don't, we don't hide things from each other. We're grown. Like, come on now. We're grown ups. So I was like, auntie, I need your bleach because I'm going to stain your toilet right now. So where's the spray bleach? Because once I pee and I'm going to need to pee a lot, I'm going to stain the, t the, the bowl because it turns it orange. When I tell you it turns it orange, it turns it orange. Oh my God. So Every time I went to the bathroom, I had to have my little bleach behind me so I could spray down the, the, the bowl. It was just a whole situation. And I had to take those orange pills for three days. And then it was just the antibiotics for seven days. And the antibiotics make me feel dizzy and just, just icky. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like myself. I just feel out of it. I just... Ugh. And let me tell you what happened. So you're supposed to take this, the, the, the medication with food, right? But like when I came home, I'm going to cook. So I'm not really good. I'm not trying to eat. I'm just trying to take this stupid pill as quick as I can to ease the symptoms so I can start cooking. So me and myself know the, the, the PA didn't tell me that I needed to take it with food. I only knew I needed to take it with food after I got my actual prescription filled the next day. But... I took it without food, right? And my stomach was empty at this point because I was just drinking water, 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 and peeing, peeing, peeing. So that's the only thing that I had in my system. Child, as soon as I took that medication, I threw up. And I don't throw up. Like, I'm not the type of person that throws up, okay? I know that sounds weird, but I, I don't throw up that easily. But child, I threw up and it was... The orange freaking pill, it was so orange and icky. Uh, it, it looked like bile. It tasted so bad. It was nasty. It was completely a mess. And I, I was just so uncomfortable <laughs> for that whole day. So I was definitely not going to vlog. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I just, mm, I wasn't in the mood. But, you know, my family too, we hang out and we laugh. We're not really the get on camera type. We were just having a good time. I got a little snippet, but nothing too crazy. But here's what we have. Did I zoom you? Why wasn't I zoomed in? I don't need to zoom in. But anyhow, look how pretty, right? It's pretty. Now I'm going to grab the namesake hummingbird. Now remember I said this one is a little bit flakier, so it can get, you know, fallout with it. You can get fallout. I'm just going to press it on with a stiff brush. And it presses on. You don't have to worry about it it won't just fly off your eyelids okay it's just that you will get a little bit of sparkle but if you use a sticky primer like i'm doing now i'm not using it damn and i'm just pressing it onto my lid like it sits and there's no fallout but it's just something i tell people to be mindful of in case you're using like a like really fluffy brush or something or you're just going back and forth you will get a little bit of fallout but Again, you just press it on. It's kind of almost like a creamy texture. You know who loved this palette too? Jen loves. Oh my God. And she's not a big color person. And she actually took this palette with her on her trip to New York City. And I was like, oh my God. Because anytime a palette goes with somebody on a trip, if they take a palette traveling, you know they like the palette. So I was so happy that Jen liked my palette as well. I was just so happy for all the support that I got from the community and from you guys. And it's just like, I want to low key cry, but it's like, I don't want to mess up my makeup, you know, but it's just so heartwarming. And I know I haven't been like uploading left and right, but I've been so busy at work. Oh my God. And there are big changes coming in the new year. Once it happens, I'll let you guys know, but I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully gonna all work out and it's gonna be awesome but yeah I've been really really busy at work and it's just it's just a whole situation child so I've just been you know filming when I feel like it when the mood strikes me I've been filming and I have like little snippets of videos like I have so much b-roll to finish up like the intro and stuff it's just a mess but look oh look how pretty she is mm, she pretty all right now I'm gonna go mm. 
Now, I'm, no, you know, ooh, hoo -hoo. all right. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to grab Fancy, and Fancy is a little bit smoother. Ah, oh, she's so pretty, and I'm gonna put her right next to Hummingbird, and she works so well with Hummingbird. Like, yes, baby. And you can use these shimmers damp as well, just to get a little bit more oomph from them. But I don't think I need any more oomph from my babies. I'm going to dampen the next shade just to make sure that the cut crease is sharp. But look how this just blends. Oh, it's so pretty. So let's go in with another concealer brush and I'm going to dampen it with my primer water from Smashbox. And I'm going to grab the shade Beach Sands and it's gonna create like a little paste and we're gonna use that on the inner part of the lid. But again, I'm creating that sharp line where we have the cut crease and just blending it into fancy. And it's just a neutral shade and it just works so well. It's really one of those shades that I still have my, do I have my sample of it? Oh my God, I have it as a single. I am just ready to grab it with any of my other palettes because it's it's one of those shades that I don't quite have as a single and I don't have in another palette so it's the perfect shade for me so ooh, I'm so happy with that oh my god oh my god and I feel like you know I should go in with feathers so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my guy and we're gonna pop her right over the blue, ooh, yes, yeah, see? So she adds a little bit of green to that blue edge, which I really like. It's not too intense. It almost makes the blue look a little bit turquoise. Loving it, yes. All right, I'm gonna do just a matte beige highlight. That's one of the things that I had to sacrifice in this palette because I only had 12 shades so guess what the brow bone highlight had to be left out because everybody's brow bone highlight is going to be different you're going to have your own favorite brow bone highlight so grab that from your palette and that's the other reason i left out a brown as well because i was going to do a brown instead of red hills that dark red reddish orangey dark like brick red shade because I was like, eh, no, everybody has brown. Like, let's do something fun. Because I wanted this palette to be a great, like, pairing palette with your other palettes. Like, if you wanted a colorful shade, you go into this palette. If you wanted to do something a little bit more fun, you could go into this palette. But for your basic shades, your browns and your blacks, you could just pull out from, pull out. <laughs> you just pull something from your existing collection. Oh my god, that's so pretty. I'm gonna do foundation. What foundation shall we use? You know what? Let's go for an OG. We're gonna use the EX Invisiware. The shade I use in this is 14. I think 14 is the shade now. They used to have F something, but I think it's just 14. This is my perfect match color-wise in a foundation. It is one of my best shade matches. So if you're my complexion, and you were looking for like a perfect match, this would be the one I would say to get. It's not too expensive either, but they have a more limited shade range. I think my shade is the second to deepest. I think they have shade 15 maybe, but it's a really good foundation. It has a skin-like finish bordering on a matte finish, a natural matte finish, and it's beautiful. It wears really well, it spreads really well, I really like it, but um, it's a Korean, is it a Korean brand? No, it's made in Italy, but EX1 is not readily available. You do have to order, you do have to order it from an international website, but I'll leave the website that I use down below because they ship really quickly. Like I've never had an issue with, I literally get my order within a few days, but I don't know, I haven't ordered in a while and with the whole situation, the whole lockdown, the pandemic, and shipping, you know, shipping has been affected. So I don't know how shipping is, but I'll still use the website. I'll still leave the website that I use down below. But yeah, it's a really good match for me. 
and it's easy quick simple all right concealer this is so pretty i am loving this right now like i said i have not worn eyeshadow in a minute I'm going to use some of my Dior Skin Concealer. What is it called? Skin Correct? 24 hour care and coverage creamy concealer. I use the shade, I believe this is 4.5 neutral. This don't look as neutral as it, it looks very peach. Not my favorite. I picked this up because a lot of people were raving about it. It's not bad, it's just that I don't know that she is my perfect shade. You see how, I don't know if you can see, but I can see how peach that looks. Let's blend that out. I mean, it covers, I mean, yeah, it blends out nicely. It's not like it leaves an orange streak behind. And a little bit of that peachiness can help cancel out my darkness. Yeah, it's fine. It's pretty, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Am I hating on it? Or did I just not remember? I don't know. I don't know. I have, I have so many concealers. Concealers and foundations, oh, I love them so much. I like trying like all of them. I really need to stop. So I haven't been buying concealers, but foundations I like to test out. So yeah, I've been buying um, foundations, but that's just a part of being on YouTube, buying foundations. But concealers I don't need to do too much with. All right, powder. I'm going to actually use this By Terry palette that I picked up to brighten under my eyes. So I'm going to use this shade here. Let's grab that and press that under the eyes. Just really quickly. Did it do anything? Not really. Hmm, didn't really do much of anything. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, let's just, let's skip that and go into my Clinique powder, which is mattifying, just to set the rest of my face. And I'm using my little fox brush. Oh my god, is this the most, yeah, this is the most expensive brush in my collection. I've been neglecting my food aid brushes. And I need to stop it because, oh, they're so luxurious. They feel so good. I mean, my most used ones, my workhorses are from Sonia G. So you've seen a lot of Sonia G brushes in my videos. And now you'll see more refer brushes as well because I've gotten some of their brushes to use. I will leave my link down below. You can get great discounts on their brushes and they've really stepped up their game when it comes to the quality and I really like the brushes that they sent my way. So if you wanted to check them out, my affiliate link is down below, which means I'll get a small kickback. This is stunning. Okay, before I, listen, I'm losing my mind. Let me do my mascara really quickly. We'll pop on lashes and then do a little zhuzh on the lower lash line. Let me quickly do that. All right, so let's do a little bit on the lower lash line. We're not done with the eyes just yet, sir. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna grab Blue Feels. So I'm gonna grab that on a number two brush from Refer. This is a great shader brush. Oh yeah. Oh, I had a little bit, ooh, I have a little bit of green on that, no. It's fine, it's fine, it's not a big deal. But this blue, oh my God, I love this blue so much. I mean, I love all the shades in the palette. I mean, I created it, right? I better love it, the hell? But when I was doing the final shade selection, I was like, oh, this is gonna be so pretty all together. I hope people like it. And I'm so glad that even people that are afraid of color still went ahead and grabbed it to support. But you shouldn't be like afraid of color. You have this neutral shade in the palette, Beat Sands, and then Swallowtail also kind of translates a little bit more neutral. I know it looks bold orange, but it blends out into a beautiful sheer wash. And then Star Apple and Red Hills are deeper mattes, so you can use them to build up dimension in your look. So you don't have to be afraid of this palette. It has a lot of versatility, a lot more than you probably expect. And then let's use a little bit of Tropics, and I'll run that on the middle of the lid. That is such a pretty shade as well. And it's a little bit more subdued in the shimmer, so using this all over the lid as well would make a really pretty look. 
And I, like I said, I love seeing your looks on Instagram. I've been reposting as many as I can because I want you guys to also see like the versatility and just the different looks that you can create. And because I love it so much, let's use a little bit of feathers. There's so many looks that you could create from the palette and we have so many creative people in our community that have created wonder, like uh, stunning looks and I can't get over it. So if you post a look, definitely tag me on Instagram. I don't see all of them, so please don't get discouraged and please don't get angry at me if I don't repost. I try to repost as I see, but I don't get on Instagram like every five minutes, so I'm not keeping up. I try to, but I'm really, I've just been, I'm telling you, I've been so busy. But look at that, oh my god. So I already have my upper lashes applied, but we're gonna pop mascara on my lower lashes. And then I'm just gonna do plain black liner on my lower waterline. All right, ooh, my eyes getting a little watery there, huh? Ooh, that is so pretty, like look at, oh my god, I'm so, <laughs> I know, I know, just bear with me, okay? I am so happy with that, okay. So what's going on with you guys? Tell me, let me know. Uh, are you gearing up for the holidays? For the holidays, I'm actually going to go to Florida with my family. So before you even ask, I'm not doing Vlogmas. Obviously, it's already, what's today? It's already the 4th of December and I haven't posted in a week, so here we are. All right, for my blush, I feel like I wanna do one of my Giorgio Armani Color Bomb blushes. What are these called? Melting color bombs. Ooh, no, this is brown. Let's do the RNG shade, which is number 45. Come on, open now, stop playing with me. This is a little bit more like a brick orange. And we're gonna pick that up and pop that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. she intense. I mean, she's not that intense. So I'm like, who am I kidding? It's just really beautiful. <laughs> It's a beautiful color and it's showing up on my skin really nicely, but like not too intensely. And I'm kind of doing a little bit of blush draping and pulling it upwards towards my brow. But look at that color, that is pretty. That is really pretty. I have been loving these color bombs. I hope they come out with some other colors because right now most of the shades are brownish and I guess that's what it is, right? It's the Neo Nude Collection. So they're gonna be more muted nude colors, but I hope they add like a poppy version of these because that formula I am loving. So there we go, uh, highlight. Contour should we do all of that? I mean, I don't really know what I'm feeling right now, but let's do some bronzer I'm gonna actually use my Dior backstage face and body powder. No powder. I'd gotten one of the deeper shades So this is number eight and let's grab a fluffy brush. Let's use the 101 from BK Beauty It's not really fluffy. It's angled and it's a little bit more dense since this is a light powder I'll use this to pick up more of the product and pop that on my hairline. I really fell in love with this powder this year and it's a very lightweight powder and if you get a deeper shade, it's a setting powder so I have my shade that sets my skin but you can get the deeper shades and use them as contour or bronzer tones and this just works really well. It's not too intense so you can get a light wash of color from it and I think it's really stunning. So if you got the other coupon from Sephora because they're having another sale, of course I knew they were. It's either they give you the gift card for like $50 off something or $25 off a $75 purchase. They do that every year. This year they are doing 20% off one-time purchase, kind of like what Ulta does. And Ulta also sent me their coupon. I don't know if it's across the board, because Ulta is so tricky, like they haven't done any 20% off sales that I can remember this year. I don't remember them doing any of those sales, so we'll see. Oh, you know what I also got? I got a couple more shades from Shantakai, their blushes. I got Elephant and I got Grace, which is a turtle one. Maybe I can use one of these. Let's use Elephant which is a beautiful corally shade. These are light though, they're not really heavily pigmented. 
So I'll just pop that on top of, yeah, ha ha ha. I feel like these have, they're matte though in the, in the pan, but they have a little sheen on them from the overspray. And that over, oh, it's so pretty on the skin. I just love these colors. So that's just, it's kind of like the same color as the blush. So it's just complementing it really well. Yeah, I love that. All right, lips. We have to do something really simple with the lips for this because a lot's going on on the face. Let me figure that out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a lifter gloss from Maybelline. If you haven't tried these out yet, you need to. Okay, what are you waiting for? These are so good. Drugstore glosses that rival my favorite glosses from Sephora. My favorite ones are Tower 28, which aren't too pricey. These are actually close in price because these are like $8.99, I think. But you can get these on sale and you can use coupons and all that. So I definitely recommend these. These are so good. And Pat McGrath is another one of my favorite glosses. These are really comfortable. They're not sticky, look. Not sticky. They have beautiful shades. They're sheer. They're not like heavily pigmented. Mm -hmm. They give this beautiful look to the lips. And I just think they're stunning. So I'm just going to do an easy lip. I'm not even going to change my earrings. I'm just going to leave it just like that. I think that's good. I'm going to bed anyway. So, ooh, I feel like it's washing me out though. I feel like I need a little bit more color on the lips. What do you guys think? Not that you can answer me, but I feel like I could use a little bit more color. I'm going to grab this Live Tinted product. So I was corrected in my last Get Ready With Me. This is not a black owned brand. It is a woman of color that owns the brand. She is an influencer. She's of South Asian descent. So she has that issue with dark under eyes, like South Asians do like my mom does and I do. So she created these products to work as color correctors under the eyes because she has that problem. And that is so amazing. Oh my God. So not a black owned brand, but still a woman of color, still a minority and still an up and coming brand that innovated. Like she created these to work on the eyes, lips and cheeks and she saw a need and she's filling it and why not? Cause these, these are really good products. The shade I just used is Rise. It's that orangey shade. And I could pop it over the gloss to give a little bit more color to the lips, right? That's nice, like, good for you, honey. Come on, do the damn thing. And to show up at Ulta is a really great thing. So, here you have it. Here is the final look. Whoo, child. Mm. This was really fun for me because I got to play with my palette, which I know and love, okay? Let's, let's be fair, like, it's my palette. Like, talk about it. Like, that's me. That's my little image on the palette. Like, come on, okay? You see, Ole, listen. But no, I had so much fun with this. It's a colorful, bold look with a cut crease, which I haven't done in a while either. And like, oh my God, like, come in. Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on, like, Right? Isn't that pretty? Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm so happy. I know this is like a really bold look and you probably like, Tina, can you do a simple look with your palette? I can do that as well. I will do, but I also don't want to just use my palette, of course, but I can definitely do a couple more looks that are more on the neutral side and show you how to use this palette and make things a little bit more wearable or like a little bit simpler if you're not into the bold and colorful. But I mean, this green, stop, Th stop. It's really, really pretty, oh my God. So here you have it guys. Ugh. This is the final look and hopefully you enjoyed this get ready with me video. Enjoyed catching up with me, just chatting a bit. Let me know what's going on with you guys. What are you planning for the holidays? If you are without family this holiday and you're without friends, I want to give you a hug. I know it's difficult for a lot of people this time of year. They've lost loved ones, especially in the last couple of years. We've lost so many people. So if you're struggling this holiday season, 
come back and join me and watch my videos tweet me you know message me on Instagram you know just reach out somebody's always in my comments that will respond to you like if you need just an extra little boost of love just reach out and touch somebody like social media is around it can be a little bit toxic but I think we've created a positive space here in our community so I'm sending you love and hugs and peaceful thoughts I know it can be a very difficult time so I'm sending love and positive positive vibes your way and if you're spending time with your friends and family hopefully you have a blast have a good time keep the little toxic ones off to the side because we know how that can get but still hopefully you have a really happy holiday I'm gonna film and have more videos coming out but I still wanted to wish you guys a great holiday season right now because I don't know when I'm gonna film let's be honest right so yeah I wanted to thank you guys again for all your support on my palette you guys made this collaboration a great success it's something that I didn't expect like I was like yeah people might buy it but I didn't expect it to be so close to selling out so if you wanted to get your hands on it I will leave the link down below because it's selling out fast and it's going to be gone as of January it will no longer be available they're not restocking it's a limited edition palette only so if you wanted it go ahead and grab it now I will also leave all the links to the products that I used in this get ready with me like the foundation and everything like I mentioned and some of those links will be affiliate links which means they will have an asterisk next to them and that means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through my links it's a great way to show your support for the channel because it does help me to put right back into the content so I also appreciate you guys using my affiliate links and affiliate codes thank you guys so much for that support as well and also for watching my channel Thank you guys so much. You leave such great comments. It's just it's just such a great place here and I am so happy to have you guys around and I will see wait 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 Instagram and Twitter follow me along I will leave links so you can follow me along I tweet more than I'm on Instagram but if you wanted to catch me catch me on Twitter child that's where we are we keep it lit but yeah until my next video which will be very soon I hope I'll talk to you bye guys